It's a sad, sad day in FNAF history, as the FNAF building, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, has been torn down. And that's totally fine, because that means they actually finished filming at this location. Hey girls, guys, and all people like it is Moxian. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about more FNAF news. So back on the FNAF Movie Updates Twitter page, we can see here the empty lot where the FNAF building used to be. But we do know that it wasn't a full building, it was kind of just a movie prop building. So it wasn't actually like fully built up with like proper interiors and structural support and all that stuff. It was like a fake building. Oh yeah, here we go. We have pictures of them actually deconstructing the building. And while it is pretty sad to see the building go, that means that they finished filming there, which is amazing. That's where I assume a lot of the things would take place. Or at least like a good amount of scenes because it is, you know, the exterior of the building. But as we all know, that's not where main FNAF stuff takes place. Main FNAF stuff takes place, that's a tongue twister, inside the buildings. They most likely have some other set where they do all their interior shooting and whatnot. And it just makes me wonder how far along in the filming they are. Also some pretty huge news, Markiplier addressed the FNAF movie at some point, apparently. I'm not 100% sure where he said all this exactly, but it is coming from Variety.com. But anyway, he did say everyone wants to know, there was a lot of confusion. Yeah, I can't say anything particular about that. There was a lot of scheduling conflict and I can't say anything. That's kind of crazy to me. That'd be giving me Andrew Garfield Spider-Man vibes a, a, a bit, a little bit. It's Andrew Garfield playing Spider-Man again. Yeah. Oh, you almost got me. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I feel like Markiplier would be pretty open and honest about stuff like this, but seeing as this is a big movie thing and it involves other people, he would be obliged not to talk about that stuff. Is that the right word? I, I think obliged is the right word. Yeah. But I also heard from somewhere that I think he would want to have like an actual major role, not just be, hey, look, it's Markiplier from YouTube. He'd want to actually have a proper role in the movie. And I'm not sure where they would fit him in, honestly, because like we have Mike Schmidt, we have Purple Guy. I, there are a lot of characters he could play, I'm sure, but I can't really think of any so if you guys have any idea of who mark could play leave a comment down below because i'm actually really interested in trying to figure out where he could fit in into the movie because god that would be amazing that would be like super cool if he could be in the movie and the last thing i wanted to talk about in this little update is what happened to the animatronics that they were filming around here we did see in an earlier teaser freddy was there in the parking lot that they were filming in i believe which means that at some point we're going to be outside and possibly seeing freddy or maybe they just you know needed it for like a quick quick shot i have no idea i'm i don't i don't know but it was most likely just moved to another location. But another thing people kept bringing up was the coloration. It is very yellow for regular Freddy. And I still think it could be the lighting because those lights look incredibly bright. And it could be the lack of like special effects that they do to it in post. But it is very yellow. It's interesting. And this leads me to the next thing I wanted to bring up between this and the Springtrap helmet animatronic thing that we saw. When you turn a game or a book into a movie, it is, it's not always exactly accurate. It's always great to see accuracy in these things, but you can't expect expect full accuracy because maybe it just doesn't translate well or it doesn't look as good as people think. So I'm still willing to bet this is regular Freddy, especially because of that black top hat there. It looks, I can't even tell if he's wearing a top hat. That really could just be the background. It's gotta be a top hat. And same thing with Springtrap, Spring Bonnie, Yellow Bonnie, Golden Body. I don't know. Whichever name you want to use, it doesn't make you hate me. This suit is quite obviously very heavily damaged and it looks burnt because like it has those little like singy parts at the end, but that could also be decay. And he's clearly not green-ish color like we see from typical Springtrap. And a lot of people believe it's because Springtrap was sitting for so long that he got moldy and the fur turned green, which makes perfect sense to me. But just the way that this thing looks, it looks too decayed for this to be Spring Bonnie. Also, I see a lot of talk about how his teeth look kind of goofy. Like, I don't know, his, his teeth kind of just look the same as the game in my opinion. I don't know, maybe that's just me. His teeth be looking kind of samey and it's from like a different angle than like straight on, so I don't know. But that's gonna be just about it for this little update. The only real news we got as of late at least from the Twitter account, there are some cars that are be using in the in the movie, and that's like, okay, cool. <laughs> and slightly more excitingly, a little ice cream truck, which isn't super crazy, but it does. Uh, but there is a sign on the car that looks like it has the Fazbear Entertainment like logo, where fantasy and fun come to life, like it has and fun oh life. So I would assume they're going with the logo. I do still have my follow-up video to my FNAF movie timeline thing, which is uh, hopefully not going to take me as long to make that video as the last one, uh, because by the time I finished the last one, there was updates that made my timeline kind of obsolete uh, and just news that I didn't know about. And I'm going to be trying to fix all the mistakes that were in that timeline in that next video. All right, this is the longest outro ever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Stay tuned. See you all in the next one. And goodbye.